Welcome to my channel. Today I'm starting a new series after my uh, Phoenix Rising series where I got the Basilius achievement. Today I am playing as Castile and I'm going for uh, Forever Golden, which I do not have. Um, I've played Spain a lot um, early on when I first started playing the game. And I have gotten pretty far as them. I came close once or twice, but never finished it. So I'm going to finish it this time with any luck. Um, I did actually get a start without a rival from Burgundy, so I'm definitely going to go for a royal marriage with them. And I also want to go for a royal marriage with Austria, if it is possible. I'm very close. They actually did not rival France. That's very odd. Um, but I will go ahead, I will rival France. I will rival, um, I guess I'll rival Aragon and Morocco. And they rival me, so I rival them back. Uh, we will go for the standard opening with the Diplo, Military, and Admin Privilege, um, Estate Privileges, um, We'll also, for religious, let's go ahead and, sure, I will want to make the Papal State friendly, so we will seize our land back. I'm going to take religious diplomats, and I'm also going to go ahead and take religious culture. Um, that's going to put me at zero crown lands, but I'm just going to deal with it. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll take supremacy over the crown. Uh, we will also go for patronage of the arts. I know a lot of people like to disinherit Enrique. I'm actually going to keep Enrique around for a little bit. Um, we'll do that. I'll take the risk with it, and we will also take Indebted to the Merchant Guilds. Alright, so next up, we are going to want to rush the Prepare Reconquista mission to get our claims on uh, Andalusia and Navarra. Um, I am actually going to just try and vassalize Navarra, so I'm going to go ahead and ally with them. Um, before I do that, I'm really close with Austria. Do I have a Diplo rep? I do. I'm going to go ahead with him. And is that enough? That is. So I'm going to ally Austria as well. And then I will go ahead and just do a royal marriage... Just, uh, you know what, I'll start by improving relations with them. Let's get that going right away. Um, other than that, I will go ahead and send my ships to protect trade in the Sibeli trade note and tell them to go home at war. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and mothball my other fleet. Well, no, I'm going to... I will actually take my heavy ships... And I will send them to hunt pirates and to go home at war. Um, I do need to get up to my naval force limit. So I do need to get myself some more ships. Um, I'm going to have three more. I'm going to go ahead and build one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 galleys. I'm going to build a galley in every province, which puts me 7 over my naval force limit. And I'm actually going to go ahead and delete uh, 7 of these cogs. I could try and sell them to another um, country. I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to mothball the rest of them, because I don't need them right now. I will go ahead and make Enrique a general. He could be worse. I'm going to immediately put one of them on each of these guys. Um, move you guys down here. Just get them close to home. Uh, I do need to get the 100% of my force limit. But I don't need to do that until I'm almost at war with... Um, Granada. So, and I can't go to war with them for a few years till 1448. So we got four years to go. Uh, so I did my estates. I 
set up my ships. I got these guys going. Um, I do have some ducats. I guess I could go ahead and I will turn off my forts for the time being. Um, I don't know if I'm ready to pick a naval doctrine yet. I don't want to become defender of the faith. I got my royal marriage with these guys already. I'm going to get my alliance soon. A lot of times it is nice if you can ally Aragon and use them in your early wars, but we'll go from there. So let's get some time moving. Uh, Portugal wants an alliance. I don't want an alliance with Portugal. I will start improving relations with the, pap with the uh, Papal States. And now I'm just waiting for my chance to continue with my relations with Navarra, so... We are making money for the time being, so I will go ahead and hire some more advisors um, just to get myself... Uh, just to get myself set up. Um, I'll go for the staff cost guy, I guess. Okay, Burgundy wants an alliance. I will accept that. I would like if they would just send me the alliance offer. Maybe they will if I wait. I'll go ahead and... We'll do a transfer trade power. That'll give me some more... I'll go ahead with the National Epic. Yeah, right now, we just want to get them uh, vassalized before they become independent. Uh, they don't look like they're sending me the Alliance offer, so I'll do the Alliance. Uh, they did send me a Royal Marriage, though. Oh, I didn't send them a Royal Marriage. I meant to do that. Or did their guy die? That doesn't make sense. I must have forgot to send that. So okay, we are getting there. We'll proclaim a guarantee. Twentieth of March. Uh, we'll do that. I will take a royal marriage from Austria. Uh, we are at 179. We're real close. They don't have any rivals. I can't insult their rivals. I could send them a gift, but I don't really have to. I think I'll just keep waiting then. Uh, so we will... Go ahead and start embargoing my rivals. Let's get ourselves some more power projection. Uh, who's my last rival? Oh, Morocco, yes. There we go. And we should be able to vassalize them now, so that's taken care of. We don't need to worry about them getting peeved by Aragon, so when the um, Iberian wedding happens, I don't need to worry about getting a useless one province miner as a um, uh, personal union partner. I will go ahead and use my last alliance slot with the Pope. He doesn't want to ally. I'm rival to Burgundy. They're allied to Burgundy. Okay, that's okay. We'll make it work. I'm not worried about it. Um, instead, then, we'll just let that tick up over time, and we will go ahead and... Um, <laughs> I 
I'm gonna start building a spy network on Portugal. Um, I might want to go to war with them while the uh, Hundred Years War is going on. I'm gonna start moving my armies down here, and I really need to start thinking about um, I want to start thinking about um, getting this ready to go. So, good thing is I'm still making money. I am gaining a lot of autonomy. But that is A-OK. -okay. We can make it work. So, mostly just a waiting game early on here. Um, all of these are done, so let's get these guys grouped up. Uh, we'll get them grouped up down here. And I will start constructing uh, three more. Now, I just don't think the transports are really worth it for me right now. I'm only keeping these ones around to make sure I'm at my naval force limit when the mission fires. I'm going to delete them as soon as these three galleys are done. Getting my uh, armada built is going to be very useful early on. Uh, they're, they're definitely going to help out with um, dealing with Morocco and Tunis. I probably could have um, brought indulgence for my sins. I'll just let it tick up over time. Withholding the tithe. I could get more tax or I could get more papal influence. Let's go for the papal influence. Uh, France and England are at war over Maine. That's good for me. My money is slowly going down. Uh, well, my, my generated income is slowly going down. That's not surprising with uh, what I did with my estates. Don't want the estate of statutory rights. Do not want those. They are garbage. You never want to take them. Uh, Portugal is at war, right? Oh, no, they didn't get called in. Okay, but I'm going to claim Porto, and I'm going to claim uh, Labosa. I'm mostly doing that because if I'm going to PU them, I want those trade centers. I want them as early as possible. They're just going to be useful for me. I am over my naval force limit now. So we can go ahead and delete these. I'm actually still over it, but that'll be okay. Yeah, these third, er, this uh, this galley fleet is going to be very helpful early on. There we go. We completed our agenda there. And we're getting extra papal influence and a nice little uh, tax modifier. Is there another country that I could try and PU? Or vassalize. Mazab is close. I could try and vassalize Mazab. They're definitely going to be harder to do. Uh, we'll go ahead and start improving with them and see what we can do with that. I can stop improving with the Pope now. Don't really need it. Um, I can't royal marry them. I could ally them. I guess I'll go ahead and do it. We'll ally them. I'm going to do everything I can to boost these relations up fast. I'm going to go ahead and send an, a scornful insult to their rival. That'll give them some more uh, relations with me. Uh, we will go ahead and transfer their trade power to me. That gives me another little boost. Um, we'll go ahead with um, giving them military access. And then we can give them... Uh, guarantee. Now I am going to need to generate just a touch more to get them to vassalize. So I will go ahead and curry favors. Oh, 
I missed that my truce was up. Okay, so I need to get this war going, and I need eight more units. So we'll go ahead and the free company would be six. Uh, the Bascolier eight. This is a three siege guy, but that's 13. I don't need 13 guys. I guess we'll go ahead with these guys. Um, they'll recruit in seven days up here, so we'll do that. And that gets us there. So we will go ahead and... I, sh I screwed up. I should have gotten rid of my professionalism. That's a mistake on my part. I'm just going to roll with it. Go ahead and build that castle there. Uh, we'll go ahead and declare this war. Uh, as soon as this is ready, I'm going to start moving these guys down. Um, I could recruit another general. Not worried about it, though. So we will attack for Granada. They have Tunis as an ally. I need my guy back. So let's go ahead and claim the other province I wanted from them. And now we'll attack for Granada. So I'll deal with Tunis. I'll do whatever I have to do. That's okay by me. Um, I actually have this big gnarly fleet that should be able to handle it. We'll send these guys in as backup. That's an easy win. We'll send this to Malacca. We'll leave a siege there. We'll go ahead and send these guys out. Granada ships are up here. Let's go ahead and get my heavies and admiral. There we go, that's an easy win. Now we'll head down to the Straits. This is probably going to be the most important naval battle of the game, of the war. And it's an easy win. We will detach our damaged ships and let them repair up. I did get a transport. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that guy. Eh, you know what? I'll hold on to him. Bring as a trust who cares about lowly advisor. Yeah, I definitely want to keep that guy. I would think at some point... Oh, they might have military access. I just can't get over there because of the fort. Uh, I'll take the money. Could definitely use it at this point. I'm not doing state of statutory rights. That's fine by me. I could call in Mazab. I definitely don't want to do that. Uh, what I do want to do with them is increase trust. What happened? I don't understand why I lost. We'll see what happens. I, I should have been able to do that easily. We'll move these guys over here. Since they have a siege general. And what we're going to do now is we're going to... Still no access, huh? Military access, okay. So Tunis has yet to ask for military access anywhere.
Uh, we'll go ahead and build up a spy network on these guys. I could take military technology. I guess I'll do that. I'm losing quite a bit of money at this point. We'll turn our forts back off. They're not coming over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and extend our loans. This is where there's a slight issue in deleting the transports. Uh, yeah, they're rivaled, so they're not going to get access there. These guys have rebels. Enrique has died. Uh, long live Enrique. So, there you go. Uh, we got rid of Enrique and didn't have to disinherit him. So, I call that a win. Aragon has declared war on Naples with a restoration of Union. Really wish at some point I could get some access. Now this is capped off. Wish I understood what happened. Because it was definitely them that I could vassalize before. I guess we'll go ahead and we'll boost the trust anyway to see what happens. Four ducats for free, I'll definitely take that. I can send uh, these light chips up to my trade fleet. Renaissance has appeared. I can't do much with that right now. I can now claim a province here. I guess we'll go ahead and do that. If I call Mazab into this war, I wonder if they can get access through here. Check military access. Yes, still nothing. Yeah, my reasons are going down now, too. Is it my economy? Tunis is in another war. Or no. I thought I saw Tunis one do a war. I'm going to do this. I'm going to call Mazab in. Hopefully they'll get military access.
The comet sighted. That's it, I'm dead. That's very, very annoying. Uh, we had some rebels spawn. Nothing we couldn't handle, though. I would very much like to get some military access. Flemchin has pieced out with Mizab. Wow, that didn't happen. That didn't take long. That's okay. I was trying to get him. Not a big deal. Would very much like to get military access, but they definitely won't give it to me. I guess we'll try improving relations with them. I can go ahead and, uh... I could go ahead and scornfully insult somebody. Okay, Granada unconditionally surrendered. That's perfectly fine by me. I will take that. There we go. Um, I will go ahead and concentrate development. England is preoccupied, so what we'll do, we will core these guys up, I will take this, I'm just going to take the stability, because I could, I could expel them if I expel them you just get the event where they turn back. They turn um, back anyway. So I'm just gonna take the stability. I get my PU uh, cast his belly on Portugal, which I am definitely gonna use. I do have mill tech on them, so it shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to go ahead and get myself some generals. No one ideal. That guy actually really sucks. That guy's a little better. I'm going to occupy their country. They're basically trapped there. There we go, the Siege of Avora is done. I can condense my whole army over here to take out that unit. I can send my mercenaries onto their capital. find one guy and I'm gonna chase these guys down so 13 13 rebels there big win there big win there Send these guys down. These guys can go join these. The siege is happening now. I will take the tech. 
we'll go ahead and blockade. Now they have transports there. And we are winning that battle. That was not an ideal win right there. I'll take the prestige hit. take the Papal Influence. Uh, I've maxed this out. Let's go ahead and take... Um, definitely hurt for money. Could go for the Diplo Rep. Would the Diplo Rep help at all? No, I don't think I can vassalize anybody even if I use it. Uh, we'll take this, and I am actually going to go ahead and... I'm going to trash these advisors. I'm going to keep the mill guy, though. That should save me a little bit more money. I am really losing money for my crown lens. That's for sure. We'll take that. I can now build churches. Um, I can't really convert anything yet. We'll go ahead and summon a diet, see what we can get. I guess I'll take that. That's going to be a little hard to hit with my income situation right now. Since I'm so far ahead on Miltech, I'm going to go ahead and click this button. Hopefully that'll save me some more money. Uh, I have no concerns about them invading me. So we'll go ahead and turn off our forts for the time being. I guess I'll leave this one on since I'm at risk for Granada and Separatists. We have sacked Lisboa. Lisboa, um... I guess I'll take the professionalism. It's gonna put, make me take out a loan. We'll go ahead and move you down here. As soon as I finish off this fleet. I know it's not ideal to attack their fleets. But, because I am going to PU them. I think it'll be alright though. Uh, now that he's on there, I'm going to move this guy back. And as soon as this is done, uh, we are going to PU them. I know a lot of people like to wait for the... Wait for them to get exploration ideas. Um, but I'm actually going to do that myself, because I need to for my mission tree anyway, and I can't take both of them. I guess I'll take the... I guess I'll take this one. I could take down here, too. As soon as I get through here, I can send my armies onto Tlemcen, and I can fight this war down real fast. I'm losing quite a bit of money. It's because of the mercenary company. I'm over all of my force limits at this point, way over everything. We'll send them there, we'll send you here, we'll send you here. I'm just going all in. We can go ahead and piece them out. Um, I'm also going to take as much money as I can. If I don't take this, I can take more money. I guess I'll do that. It would be ideal to get the trade centers, but very costly. So there we go. Now we got some more money to work with. Um, I'm going to start improving relations with them as soon as possible. Because if you don't know, if you're... If your personal union member um, has negative relations when your ruler dies, 
which our guy's 51, so that could happen relatively soon. But if that happens, then you will lose your personal union. I can go ahead and state this up, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I can afford most of it. We'll do the last one we can. Granada and Separatists have risen up. We'll go... Oh, jeez. Uh, we'll take the trade power. I do not have the money to do that. Oh, the Austrians lost the throne. I will go ahead and re-roll marry them. Am I still royal married to you? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and we will take the manpower. It's almost always the best idea to take the manpower. I'm going to annex as much as I possibly can. Most likely. We'll see what happens. I can take military technology for innovativeness. Let's do it. I know it's going to cost me a little extra in the long term, but it'll be okay. I found their armies. I'm going to let Navarra siege their capital over here. I will go ahead and split these guys up and get them occupied. I will move my fleet over here. Now, are there releasables? I could release Algiers, which is what I might do. I could release Algiers and let them uh, do all the coring for me. We're making progress on these sieges. What's really hurting is the... Uh, I lost a rivalry. I guess France is no longer a valid rival for me. That's okay. They must have embraced the Renaissance or revoked that embargo temporarily. We will send these guys down here. Uh, Mercenary Company lost their siege general. I still do not want this as a state of statutory rights. I can definitely work around them. I just want to leave these guys over here to help with any potential attacks. There we go, that's done. We will crush these armies. Uh, we did not stack wipe them. We'll leave these guys behind. We'll go get them with the rest of our armies. There we go. That's over with. You guys can come home. You can get deleted. I can't afford them anymore. Want to bring them all the way home if possible. Cannot. Okay. So let's see, let's say we piece these guys out, we could take that much. I could release a Mazab or a uh, Algiers. Um, 
I guess I'll separate piece these guys. Uh, I can't do much with them. Uh, a little bit of ducats is going to help. A little bit of trade power should help. Let's go ahead and cancel everything they got. There we go. And then we will full annex Clemson. Full annex them. So that's good. Um, I will see if there's anything I can steal from here. A little bit there. A little bit there. Uh, and then we are going to go ahead and release a Clemson, I guess. There we go. So they'll be our vassal. We can now do strong duchies. I think it's worth it to do that now, even though they're going to still be Sunni, um, I can integrate them later and um, save myself the Diplo power for the time being. Uh, we will go ahead and move our armies back home. Um, I will embrace the institution. It's going to be a little costly, but I think it's worthwhile. So we will embrace the institution. I can core this last province. Um, I'm getting close to being able to really do that. Uh, I will do that momentarily. Uh, let's take a look at my cultures. Uh, Gaelican and Basque cultures are not accepted by me. Uh, I can only have two accepted cultures, so I guess I'm going to have to deal with that. I could look to convert them. That's pretty expensive. I don't think it's worth it. let these guys do that and uh, yeah so I think that's gonna be the end oh let's upgrade my units while I'm thinking about it we'll go with the men-at-arms seems good uh, we will seize land since I'm right here we're up to 11 crownlands I am going to take the hit and I need some sort of economy so we're going to reduce autonomy everywhere that should help me out with money going to cause some rebel issues, but I don't think it's anything we can't handle. So we're currently what? We're in the positive, ducket-wise. That's good. That's good. Uh, we have a trade, costly trade embargo against Morocco. We'll go ahead and revoke that. These guys are moving home. I need to keep an eye. These noble rebels are going to be very difficult. Uh, we can go ahead. We can rival France and the Mamluks. Sounds good. We will send an embargo back to France. And we will send an embargo to the Mamluks. Okay, and anyway, there we go. So that's episode one. Uh, we vassalized Navarro. We already got our PU on Portugal. And we already have another vassal in Tlemcen. Uh, we have one more free Diplo slot, which we can look to use. Um, it's going to get taken up by Aragon eventually, though. So we'll probably just leave that there. Um, France is rivaled to Great Britain and the Ottomans. I could consider getting an Ottoman alliance. No, because they're rivaled to Austria. So... Anyway, I think that's good for the first episode. Did a nice bit of conquering, a lot of war. Uh, we're in some definitely, we're definitely in some crown lands issues. Um, we'll make up for it though. So uh, that sounds good to me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the first episode, and I hope you come back for more. Um, if you liked it, like the video. If you really liked it, I'd appreciate a subscription, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Goodbye.